All right, so we're out here. I got the E34 up on jack stands uh, to fix this radiator. Luckily, being an E34 parts guy, I got brand new hoses, low temp thermostat, and even a brand new radiator laying around. So uh, I've accumulated these things from uh, you know random parts cars. So this came in the last car, the one I actually cut into a convertible. This was basically replaced right before I bought that car. It's like brand new. So I'm gonna shove that thing in there low temp thermostat and uh new hose i have a silicone loader, lower hose i don't think they make silicone upper hoses for e34s it's a little different than the e36 um so i think i'm just gonna replace it with the napa i don't see why this hose wouldn't be all right but i mean this one's probably all right itself but it's it's a little swollen you could tell it's been used for a while so i'm gonna go ahead and redo all this cooling system uh tim let me borrow his clutch fan removal tool so I can actually properly do a uh, clutch fan rather than have a wrench fly off and put a hole in my radiator which is nice so it should make that easy uh, follow up on that power steering leak uh, so basically I pulled the car in here and I already looked underneath that's all cool but right there are those two dark spots power steering fluid so it just pissed power steering fluid and I mean I had it running in here for maybe like 20 seconds so something's a little goofy going on there. Uh, I think this hose right here looks pretty wet. I think it's like actually leaking pretty bad now. Because whatever I did made it leak a lot of fluid at once. And uh, otherwise I don't see any like, you know, leaks that are obvious. So I, I don't really know. I mean, I wanted to replace all the power steering stuff, but these lines are like $200 each and they're pretty expensive. So, uh... I don't know, I'm a little skeptical about just replacing everything. Yes, I use green in the C34. I use blue in the M3s. E34s get green just because it's easier to pick up and, you know, I'm doing shit like this often, so. So I don't think I actually used it right. You know, it's supposed to lock on the uh, bolts, but my intercooler piping gets in the way, of course. But uh, I just kind of jammed it and that came off super easy kind of frustrates me like the fact that I've never picked up one of these and instead I you know kill myself with a stupid uh, stupid wrench that ends up popping my radiator so clutch fans off nice and easy I'm gonna pull the shroud up and then uh, radiator is ready to come out holy I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but maybe you could. Pulled the stupid ass radiator out. And of course this dumbass hose was getting locked underneath the, the belts. So it slingshotted hot coolant in my face, right in my eyes, so I had to run to the bathroom. God, man, stupid stuff like that I do pisses me off. Cause now I gotta clean off my sister's car cause it's got <laughs> pulling on it. I gotta clean off the E34 cause it's got coolant on it. The E46 got a little bit of coolant on it. So I just made a damn mess in the garage all because I couldn't have just pulled this stupid ass hose. Shit all over the floor now. And that's what you do with the old radiator right there. And I gotta clean up a ton of shit. All right, so I just uh, quick detailed both the cars that got sprayed with coolant. I uh, washed my face. And now we're back at it. So uh, I gotta pop off the thermostat housing cover and then uh, replace the thermostat, which I don't think I did because that's the old RTV that the previous owner used on this engine. So uh, that has not been done. So a low temp thermostat will be nice there. Uh, other than that, pop that in, water pump is staying. Then just drop the new radiator in and the hoses and then ready to bleed. thermostats out you can see this old stupid uh, gasket sealer previous owner used so I'm getting rid of that 
Uh, so I'm gonna clean that up. This is a oh, actually, this is a Mishimoto 68 degrees Celsius thermostat. So this is actually I might have just wasted my time. So this is actually a lower temp thermostat than the one I bought. So that kind of uh, that kind of sucks, I guess. Uh, I guess I'm gonna be running a higher temp thermostat, uh, three degrees, not a huge deal, but I probably would put this back in, but I don't know, this, this seal looks a little shot, and then the O-ring looks a little shot. So, you know, of course, typical stuff. So, whatever, 68 degrees, now I'm going up to 71. So that's, I mean, three degrees, that's not gonna kill anything. Oh well. Cleaned up the housing and everything. So I got the new thermostat in. You can see they have a little arrow on the top pointing up. So uh, that's how that goes in there. And then the O-ring sits kind of on the outside of it. And then the new thermostat housing gasket sits into the housing. And now, I don't know if it's necessary, but I kind of like to do it anyway. I'm gonna put some thermostat housing uh, sealant. I'm gonna just kind of wipe it along all this and on the outside of this O-ring. Um, Again, I don't think it's necessary. The last one had it. I've done it on all like my other cars that I do thermostat housings on and stuff. Uh, even water pumps. I know they're rubber, so you technically don't need sealer, but I'm gonna use it anyway, let it cure. Just an extra thing to avoid leaks. I don't know. I'm sure a lot of you will disagree with that. Some of you might agree, whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I got the uh, new radiator installed, clipped in, all the hoses, new upper hose. Um, so this is all set. I swapped over the um, fan clutch. So this is my new one that I tried and I didn't, I didn't think worked, but if I'm gonna order a new one anyway, I'd rather give this another shot. So I swapped the clutches, but I kept my uh, shortened fan because the solid mounts, uh, it will hit the shroud. But this is a brand new fan, so when I order the new shroud, or the new uh, clutch, once I swap them again, I'm gonna cut this fan, cause you know, newer and more sturdy blades, I'm sure. Swap them over onto the new clutch. And yeah, but for now I'm just gonna run the new clutch with the old fan and the shroud, which I haven't tried before, so we'll see, maybe that'll bring me some improvements. Uh, looking at the old radiator, it was pretty, pretty chewed up, like here, like a lot of marks and flattened fins, so definitely wasn't the uh, peak uh, performance of a radiator. But new one looks nice. Should, should treat this car pretty well. Everything's all hooked up. So I can't remember what the cure time is on that RTV stuff. So I don't think I'm gonna uh, bleed it just yet. I might let it sit for a little bit. Everything is back together. I got the clutch fan in and tightened. All the hoses, I got the shroud on. So basically all that's left is, it says 24 hours for the RTV to cure. And I know I said you don't even need it to begin with, so I'm sure I don't really need to let it cure. But I'd rather not like, you know, jinx it. So I'm just gonna wait till tomorrow to put coolant in it. Uh, I'm not in a rush to drive this thing. I don't need to drive it. Uh, it's supposed to storm. I would like the E36 in the garage, but whatever. Um, I'll leave this tonight. I could push it out, but I'd rather leave it up because for bleeding it, you want it up in the front anyway. All right, so I just got some more coolant from O'Reilly's. So now we're gonna uh, fill her up. It's been a day. I believe everything is hooked up here as it should. I got like, a drop of this stuff I'm gonna finish off and then yeah no blue coolant for this thing I think I've already talked about that but uh, basically the way this car was I never wanted to put like blue in it because it felt like there was always something that had to be like done that would involve you know maybe swapping so I didn't want to spend the money on the blue stuff if like you know I'm gonna blow a radiator and stuff so oh well green's been doing just fine that's a myth Blue is whatever. So yeah, let's fill this thing up. All right, so I'm in the process of bleeding it. I fired it up, it's leaking a lot. Uh, I think that's just out of the bleeder, I hope, unless this radiator's cracked, which I'm pretty nervous about. But I think, I think she's all good. 
All right, so she's got heat inside. That's good. Uh, temp is coming up to the middle. Uh, it started bleeding, nothing but uh, coolant, so I shut that. And uh, I don't see anything else leaking except for residual stuff. So I'm just gonna let it get up to temp and see uh, if it holds temp and then I'll crack the bleeder a couple more times. So now we just wait. All is still well. She won't even crack 180. Normally it uh normally it'll idle about 180 and go even higher. So so far so good. It doesn't appear to be any leaks. I got scared there was a couple like drips like random spots. I think it was just, you know, from opening the bleeder, the coolant travels in weird ways. I thought the radiator was leaking it like five different times, so I freaked out. But it seems to be all good. I'm, really, I'm just gonna keep letting it run and see if it'll crack 180. Uh, if it doesn't, after about, I don't know, maybe five, 10 minutes, then I'll probably just crack the bleeder one last time and I think I'm gonna go drive it and see what, it's, what it does. Um, I mean, I don't know, it seems like it's almost running cooler, but it's got an actual clutch fan on it now that's new. Uh, I don't know, maybe new clutch fans, you just don't hear them. I, I, don't, I don't know. But I, I know that I bought this SP Euro and I can't imagine I would have gotten a bad one. So we'll see. No leaks, no leaks. Everything looks good. I'm gonna go do some pulls and make sure that she stays under temp and then bring it back, let it idle, crack the bleeder. You guys know the drill, so. Fingers crossed, everything's all good, and then, uh, yeah, we could consider this cooling system swap a success. So cruising, she's staying nice and cool. Actually a little under 180, which is not bad. I really don't have a ton of baseline to compare it to because I've only kind of driven this car midday and like a lot of heat. So I'm not positive what it should be, but at night, so. Well, right around 180 like before, which is good. Uh, I really won't know until I come to a stop, but I'm gonna go beat on it a little bit So then I could stop and idle and see how it holds temp at idle again I think this might be a bad fan clutch. So if it gets warm, I won't be uh, you know I won't be too suspicious, but I just want to I really want to make sure there's no leaks. That's the main thing I'm worried about All right made it home uh, No out of ordinary overheating temp stays really nice cruising um, I checked at a gas station for leaks no leaks but uh, stop, standing still at the gas station, it did raise in temperature pretty quickly. Um, I wouldn't say any quicker than it used to. I'm, I can't really relate. It's a different clutch fan. It's a new one that I've apparently stored incorrectly, but from the start, didn't seem like it was working. And now it's about six months old, sitting on its back. You know, they're supposed to be stood straight up, I believe. So I don't think that clutch fan's any good. And if the car is getting warm uh, idling, that basically leads to a clutch fan. But otherwise, nothing out of the ordinary. I believe everything bled nicely, no leaks, so that's cool. Uh, I basically just gotta order another clutch fan and throw it in there and, and see how things go. Obviously, they run hotter when they're idling, but um, you know, stock temp gauge doesn't even budge. That car, the Touring, whatever, that they, it's a very like, there's a high range of temperatures in that gauge. But, um, so I mean, it might not be out of the ordinary that it gets warm idling. It's just now that I have a gauge that actually reads it, I, I notice it. But uh, either way, I, I don't like it at all, so traffic gets a little scary. I order a clutch fan in the next video. I'll let you guys know how that goes. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed my stupidity, busting a hole in my radiator.